up. So uh, I see Josh Allen. Uh, why don't you go ahead and start us off? Hey, Karis, how are you doing? Uh, Christian, how are you doing today? How you doing? Good. How was the pro day today? Uh, it was great. Um, just being able to go out there and move around again. Uh, these past three months have been a little difficult with my surgery, doing a lot of rehab. But just going out there and moving around again in front of all the scouts and the coaches and GMs, I feel like I had a great day. Uh, just ha has there been anyone that you've been leaning on in this process, any like former players or, or former teammates of yours that have gone through the whole draft process? And then uh, last question is, uh, have, you, have you had any contact with the Buccaneers at all? Uh, so I answered the first question first. I have talked to the Buccaneers. Uh, I had one Zoom with them so far. And then during the process, I lean on uh, Yash y Najman a lot. Um, he was just doing this a few years ago. Uh, he's giving me all, like, the, the, the do's and nots. And then in Florida, my position coach was Josh Sitton. So uh, he's been in the league for, like, 10-plus years. He played with the Packers and everything. And he was, like, a great mentor. Uh, he FaceTimed me before I got up here, so I got to call him back after this and just chat it up with him. But them two the most. David Miller. Hi, Christian. How are you doing today? How are you doing? Uh, good, cheers. Um, so, obviously, you've played in the conference. That has actually had some very good defensive talent over the last few years. How do you feel that's prepared you for the next stage of the NFL? Uh, definitely went against great competition, and I feel like it has prepared me a lot. Um, freshman year going against guys like Brian Burns, uh, the defensive end from Boston College, number two. I think his name was Zach Island. But in this past year, like Carlos, Boogie Basham and everything, uh, like the one of the best conferences with like defense alignment for sure. Um, and those guys are, are in the league and they're performing very well. And I feel like I held my own for sure. And I just can't wait to see what I do in the league. Uh, just a couple more questions. Have you spoken to the Eagles at all? Yes, sir, I have. Awesome. And so last one, obviously you're one of the top prospected offensive tackles coming into this draft. How exciting is it for you on a personal level to know that you could be a day one star? Um, it's definitely a lot of excitement, uh, but I still got that chip on my shoulder. Um, the two-star recruit coming out of PG County, Maryland. Um, I just know I can't get too big-headed. Got to stay level-headed. Uh, I know, like, the, the best is yet to come for sure. I just got to keep working hard and everything will uh, just play out. Hey, Kurz. Hey, Christian, how weird is it to be out there and to know you're being measured with numbers for everything instead? You know, there, there's no – um, heart factor built in or your story, you know, how much is it weird to be measured like that? Um, it's, it's a little weird, but it's like at the end of the day, you know, you just go out there and just be yourself and, and everything will fall in place. Uh, they know what they're looking at and everything. So it's just like, just go out there and be yourself. Um, just so, so no sign of weakness and everything. And then you just see what happens. And were you a hundred percent today for all the drills and all that stuff? Uh, I did. I only did position work just because I got cleared about two or three weeks ago, and my trainers at Exos in Florida uh, they just thought it was safe for me not to go out there and push everything and and, and do stuff like that. So I just did position work. Thank you, Alexis from the Draft Network. Hi, Christian. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Um, two questions. The first one, uh, we all appreciate how humble you are, but you have made a lot of progress in your career starting as a true freshman, you know, to your junior season. Looking back, you know, how happy are you with that progress and, and what has stuck out in your mind the most? Uh, I'm tremendous, tremendously happy. Um, <laughs> just being that freshman coming in like that two star, just not knowing. Uh, what my role would have been would have been my freshman year, uh, but just like earning that trust that I got from the coaches and being the starter uh, day one, um, it's just like a lot of proud and joy. It's like all my hard work really paid off, and it just showed like all those other coaches were wrong about me and they slept on me, and I just kept that chip on my shoulder and just made made a shake. Mm -hmm. And just to follow up, I know you can't. And, and probably don't want to go into detail on what exactly you're talking with NFL teams about, but is there a consensus on, you know, where they see you fitting in at the next level? Um, definitely left tackle, uh, but they show, like, uh, interest in me playing anywhere. Um, a few teams, like, they have a solidified left tackle now, and they told me, like, your role would be, like, a right tackle for, like, four to five years, and then you'll transfer over to left. And they just wanted to know if I was able to do that and everything. And I told them, like, I'm comfortable playing with either side, right or left. But I know I'm a left tackle at the end of the day. But I can get it done on either side. Great. Thank you so much. Best of luck. Thank you. Gonzalo. Hey, Christian. Here on Sano from Ohio in Argentina. 
the question is, uh, which skills do you think uh, you could uh, develop the most uh, through your entire career uh, at, at Virginia Tech? Can you say that one more time? Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, which skills do you think uh, you you develop the most uh, at your entire career at uh, college football? Uh, I feel like I had to develop a lot around my whole game. Um, the footwork and the run game and pass pass protection. Um, I feel like I kept getting better each and each year and each year year and out. Um, this past season uh, with COVID and everything, uh, talking to Coach Vice, watching film, and just working out with like a couple of my Ulan buddies, it took my game to the next level. And it showed it's not like giving up zero sacks this past season. I took a huge pride in that. Um, having Khalil in the backfield definitely made it easier. Like opening up holes, we know he's gonna hit it. So it's just you, 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 um, you kind of just, just try to build that all up and just go out there and just show it. Nick in Pittsburgh. Hey Christian, you know, is there someone that you kind of really watch on film uh, in order to, you know, just take things from them because you have improved a lot and usually, you know, self scouting is a part of that. But also sometimes uh, guys bring techniques from you know some of the best in the nfl are there guys you watch that really help you a little bit yeah so like this past when i was like doing the pre-draft process and everything um i've been watching a lot of trent williams film uh just breaking down uh, how physical he plays and know like that's what it's going to take at the next level and guys like wyatt teller david uh the one the, the tackle from the packers and just watching guys like that it just motivates me um just work on my craft every day and just know like there's no there's no limit to what you can be and just knowing like you take tips and, and keys from their game, the sky's the limit for you. And also, have you had any contact with the Pittsburgh Steelers? Uh, who did you meet with, with them if you did meet with them? Uh, so, um, I got my first Zoom with them tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Christian. Yes, sir. Hank, did you have a follow-up? I'm good, Pete. All right. Jacob and Fonte. Hey, Christian, appreciate you taking the time out to talk today. Uh, I just wanted to talk about your transition to the NFL level. Obviously, you're an athletically gifted uh, player who's also incredibly powerful, but I just wanted to ask about that transition moving up to the NFL level of speed and physicality. What have you been doing to uh, kind of adjust to that leap? Uh, and how do you project yourself uh, taking on that uh, leap at the next level? And a two-parter, have you spoken with the Bears? Because I know they sent uh, – Offensive line coach Juan Castillo down there at you guys pro day today. I have spoken with the Bears uh, via Zoom. Um, yes, I have. And then uh, taking my game to the next level, uh, you just got to be confident at the end of the day. Uh, just know that, like, they're going to draft you for a reason and you have the ability to go out there and perform. And you just can't ever, like, get too, like, just, you can't worry about things. Uh, so when every time you step on that practice field, just go out there with that mindset, like, you just want to be better. You just want to be the best player you can be. Um, like I said, it's about, like, a big key is confidence for sure. Um, you never can doubt yourself. Like, am I ready for this moment or anything? Just go out there and just know, like, you're prepared. And, like, these coaches, they're going to teach you the game. Um, you got your teammates there who you can steal things from, like tips and keys, uh, what it takes from being in the league. And Josh Sitton is playing a, a huge role for me uh, during the draft process to get ready. Yeah, and uh, just following on that, because Josh Sitton did play for the Bears, so I figure I might as well ask uh, – what have you guys exactly been talking about and how have you been working uh, through this draft process? Um, so we've been breaking like down different defensive schemes, like the over, under front, uh, bear, um, just little things like that. Um, just like just coming in as a rookie, uh, just telling me, like, just keep your head in the playbook. Um, that's what it's going to take to get uh, on the field faster. Um, just work out, stay in shape, uh, take care of your body really was like a huge thing because um, the moment you get hurt, you never know what happens after that. So, just play every down like it's your last, really, and just everything will work out. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Matthias. Hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Thank you. Uh, Christian, Matheus from Time Out Brazil. Uh, congratulations for going for the NFL draft. Uh, Thank you. Do we have like we have the in this year we have a really good class of offensive line go for the draft like a really really deep class and we know like all the players say they see yourself like the best player on the top but how is for you like have been like heard of for scouts and for a lot of people that you're really 
one of these top guys? Um, ask the question again. Sure. How was for you, like, uh, here for all these scouts and people who work so, so many years in football, that you are, like, uh, one of the top guys on this offensive line class? Um, it's definitely just like a relief. Uh, just knowing, like, all your hard work is finally paying off. And at the end of the day, I still keep that chip on my shoulder. Um, there's not a lot of talk about me being, like, OT1. Um, I have no problem with that. I just, it's just giving me extra motivation. Um, at the end of the day, I know my ability, and I know what I can do. And I, I can't wait to get to the league and show it. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Anybody else for Christian Derrissaw? All right. 